always. <laughs> so hello and good morning from Shelia and Leah. We just um, had a WhatsApp exchange and decided to hop on very spontaneously to get some podcast episodes in. Um, good morning, Leah. Hi, Celia. How are you? <laughs> I'm really good. I missed you. I feel like we haven't spoken in forever. I know. I missed you too. So mm. you you just got back from a vacation and I was going to write you yesterday and say, is Mario feeling better? Did you guys make it home? Like what happened? Ba barely, barely. I just told a client that it's so amazing. I mean, as you guys know, we always talk about life and the experience of life from the knowing of the three principles, like mm. mind, consciousness, thought. And I mean, if I would have told myself how amazing this vacation has been a couple of years ago, um. I would have thought this lady is strange, weird, crazy, cuckoo. I don't know, but I mean, come on. Why? All of my family, was they were sick. So it started with the bigger one. And then myself, I had to go to the hospital and I couldn't join my family to drive down. I had to take the train like a day later. Um, then it was the smaller one. And at the end, my husband as well. So, I mean, it was, um, we, and the weather was quite bad. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I don't know. Desire for a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. But what you would wish for. But I don't know. It's really this Sydney Banks used to say Dick and told me that. I don't know. I haven't met him, but um that he always was like this, whoa, that's just the best cup of coffee I've ever had. And it it often feels like that. I mean sometimes the sun came out and I was down in the street nearby was like a huge Construct construction site mm -hmm. and I mean the sun was just there for like 10 minutes and I had a cup of coffee on a bench and I thought oh that's just the bloody best coffee <laughs> I've mm. ever had so um, it's just so much more fun to be in the present moment than in my head mm. in my head I used to think what it's raining, my family is sick, we're not doing what we want to do. And without, or not without, but not taking it that serious, um, then it just can be the best coffee that you ever had, because it's just the best coffee you are able to have at this moment. It's the only one. Yeah. Mm. And actually, I jump in our topic because it was on that bench <laughs> with that coffee that I'm referring to that Shelia and myself had a very funny WhatsApp exchange. And I had just to laugh so hard <laughs> oh because we knew exactly what we were talking about. So you're so vain <laughs> you're so vain you're so vain you probably think this song is about, about you. you you're so vain <laughs> <laughs> no we're, it was a it was like a super funny middle-aged lady conversation yes and I've thought about it a lot since Leah and I thought it'd be so fun to do it on the podcast today because maybe we have some like middle-aged ladies and men out there listening mm -hmm. in and who knows at all if there's any like 3P wisdom in there or if it's just going to be a funny topic. <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, so I was I was uh, a couple of, well, it's been several weeks since we've done some podcasts and um, I'm usually the person to like put it all together for the English list at the moment. And I made a screenshot of Leah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the last one. If you are on our list. Yeah, you know what we are talking about. You know, you know, <laughs> and you ha and you have to know that I love Leah so much. Like I really go through the video and I try to find the most flattering, best, um, you know, photos that show her in action or like something interesting or fun for the users. And then Leah saw the video or the the screenshot. It went out on the email, I guess, last Friday, um, automatically. And what did you write me? I can't even remember what you said, but it was so funny. I almost peed my pants. No, it's something like I look like the crazy lady in court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like one hand up like the left one. I don't know in the US it's the right or the left. And I just didn't look that good. And <laughs> a bit crazy and just like like a crazy lady in court yeah and so it started there like whoa <laughs> yeah. look at that picture and what's funny is um on my side it was not like this oh how do I look it was more like oh whoa that's how I looked <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, it was like, it was a total middle-aged lady moment. And then, you know, I, I got back to Leah and I relayed a, like a situation that I had been experiencing recently that, and so let's start there, huh, Leah? Yes. So basically I wrote back and I was just laughing. And first I was like, I really wanted to convey to you. I was, there was, that was, I didn't have much to choose from. There was like, that was, <laughs> I was like, that's kind of how we looked that day. There was like, not a lot I could help. Mine, mine looked just crazy too. And I was telling her how the last couple of months, for whatever reason, like for no reason at all, it's like, um, I haven't lost weight. I haven't changed my hair. I haven't like done some special facial treatment or makeup or something, but I was just feeling like really good about myself. You know, I was just like looking in the mirror in the morning and liking what I see. And I was kind of like prancing around Epstein. If you've been to Epstein, it's like this very small <laughs> town where, where, where I'm known because I walk around with a Dalmatian and a huge, you know, uh, wind, uh, wind, wind, uh, greyhound dog. Um, just like, you know, walking by the bakery, be like, Hey, look at me over here. You know, just like, I was just <laughs> feeling myself. I was just so happy that I was at a, a space where, you know, where I was feeling good. And then, um, <laughs> we had, uh, a photo shooting recently, not Leah and myself, but I, I flew down to the South of France to meet with, um, with Sandra Heim. And anyone who knows Sandra Heim, she does the uh, the podcast with us, with the German podcast. And Sandra's half Swedish, half German. So she's tall and slim and blonde. Like she literally looks like that lady from ABBA, like back in the 70s, like the way she looked back then, not the way she looks now. And I'm just like going with my fine self down to the south of France. <laughs> and we had we had we had a photo shoot and I decided I made the executive inner decision Leah you'll be so proud of me I said I'm not going to look Damn. at the screen over there like you know you can in, in this day and age all the photos are digital and I'm like I'm not going to look on that screen I'm just gonna have fun be present in the moment because if I look at that screen I'm going to find some flaw something bad about myself and I'm going to get depressed and I'm I'm just going to sink into like a a puddle of self d depreciation and so I didn't look and then I got home and I was like, okay, so now I have some time, you know, just to be back in my, my, my home. And on Sunday already, after the Friday photo shooting, the photographer had already sent over the photos and Sandra sent me a link and I clicked on the link to the, to the live session. You know how the photo photographer has like, they'll send you the 900 photos unfiltered, no, nothing taking out or, or nothing edited. And they'll just be like, here, you know, this is the result of our, of our <laughs> shooting, pick something nice. And I looked in there, <laughs> I, I almost cried. Like every picture that I saw just looked like this middle-aged old 
fat lady and I was standing beside this Swedish goddess like in the picture <laughs> <laughs> like I wanted I've been meaning this week to send you some of the really bad ones <laughs> just for fun <laughs> I haven't gotten around to it, but like, I mean, some really bad, I mean, some of the worst <laughs> photos that God has ever seen taken of me. And, um, I was just like, yeah, no, maybe the reality of my fine self, <laughs> it's not the reality of my fine self. <laughs> so that's kind of what I relayed back to mm. Leah in a short form. And, you got it right like what did yes. you what did you hear <laughs> yeah totally <laughs> no I, I i i and there is a lot to see in that i mean that's i i totally got it i felt exactly the same i mean really i feel so good and and what's really interesting is i i see the beauty in you i totally see it it's Thank there you. Yeah. it's when, radiating when you it's said that just... to me last week she did tell me that i was just like thank you leah thank you and for real not just like oh i love her and that's why i say it i i truly see it in the way you walk in the way you talk in the way you just are in the world you are beautiful mm. and then we've got these bloody images. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I I wanted to say something. I'm going a bit like further down, and oh. I I I met Helga, my my best friend in Berlin, and and she told me the whole time how beautiful I am, and that she's just she's also a beauty, like like this. I mean. Sandra and Helga and a lot of others are in a way um, like this, how beauty is described yeah. as well, like the features and the height and the how we are all the, yeah, the blondness or the darkness or whatever. So there is, the, we've got images how beauty looks like and they are fed through films and books and mm -hmm. and stories and also yeah uh, there is something in a beautiful design that we can appreciate so and there is beauty in all of us of course in every shape in every form in every in 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 the being aliveness of being young middle aged old yeah. and What's funny, or as you said, you felt so beautiful and you saw yourself or you see yourself as beautiful too. And me too. Mm -hmm. And I had this crazy, like, <laughs> middle-aged lady um, putting up her arm. And it, it matters and it doesn't matter in a way. It matters because, of course, we also have the images that how we want to look on the outside. And it doesn't always um, resemble <laughs> the thing that we think that we will. Yeah. So that's one thing. And the other is... Helga was really like the whole time, you look so good. And actually, guys, if you see another crazy photo, I am coming just like I didn't do anything with my hair <laughs> <laughs> and no makeup, but, but I feel beautiful. So doesn't matter. However, we will look on the screenshot. And what happened is she took photos of me that looked beautiful. She saw the beauty mm. in me as I see the beauty in you. Mm. Yeah. She really looked at me from the angles of, oh, I'm going to take the photo here because she looks so nice from yeah. there. Yeah. I see the beauty in the picture the same as I see in her. And sometimes someone who takes picture of us sees that and captures it and yeah. and we feel seen 
regardless of the beauty standards that's kind of i mean me Absolutely. too i've got this gorgeous tall sister and everyone was always like oh and actually i've never been jealous i i just see the beauty in her outside and in and and the strange thing is often she doesn't look that beautiful on photos because um nobody cared to really look for the the real feature the, the where does she her. the essence you know yeah so that's what helga did and i have like tons of just beautiful looking photos and yeah. then the moment i came home <laughs> Somebody else, I will not mention who it was. I know who it was. <laughs> <laughs> Took a photo of me. And no, actually another one that was very cool at the party. And I felt exactly the same. I was wearing exactly the same clothes, Shelia, really, as I did in Berlin. Mm. And I was, I'm on a photo and I look really weird. And like, I mean, I, I, middle-aged, weird, crazy in the court lady again. Yeah. And I did send it to Helga and I said, look, that's what I mean. You see me mm -hmm. in another way. Mm -hmm. And she, and we, as we did, we just had to laugh so hard because it was like, what the F? <laughs> yeah. Why can't they see that you look so nice? She was really like in this, no, that's not you. I see you. And it's the same for me. That's not you. I mm. see you in all your beauty and aliveness. And also like beautiful because we are we are a bit vain, guys. Vain, vain. <laughs> We like to look good and we want to look young and healthy and vibrant and, and sexy. Vibrant and sexy and everything. And and it matters and it doesn't matter. It's kind of both. Yeah. yeah. And before, I mean, these photos would have, uh, I mean, devastated. Uh, devastated you and, yeah. and me. And, and we get it that we think, no, what's going on? Yeah. And nowadays we we really I mean we loved our asses off. It was so funny. We did. <laughs> Just to see, yes, sometimes it doesn't match and it's true, maybe we didn't look that good, and that's fine too. Yeah. And it's not true, like both. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, I love that. And you know, exactly what you said. It matters and it doesn't matter. And um I I love just the, the idea of, I liked coming back home, forgetting about those <laughs> pictures and co and coming back into the feeling of my fine self, you know, just like, yes. you know, being your own hype person. I love that. And I also had, you know, some reflection on it. Like how, how does our, I, how does our, our eyes get so warped <laughs> to any way or the other. And one of the things that came to me is like, we are, immersed in this fake world it's like yes. did you see this morning i i Heiko, my my husband on the weekend he was updating some programs on my computer because i'm trying to get it to work better it's not been working so well lately and he installed some new things on my computer because i usually let that alarm come up a thousand times and don't update the software right and so zoom got updated so this morning when i started when we jumped online I realized the whole program looks different on Zoom and they've put a filter over my camera picture. So can you see the, the different colors of my eyes this morning? Yes. How, how how they pop? Can yes. You see that, that it looks like I have a Photoshop filter yes. over my face? Totally. So I did not do that. I didn't I didn't go into Zoom and say I would like to use a filter that Whoa. makes me that makes me look different, right? And so 
it's the same on so many places that we're looking at ourselves in, in the mirror, whether it's on Zoom, it's taking a photo uh, from our camera. I don't, I'm I'm a hundred percent sure there's some sort of filtery function when we take a picture from our selfie on our phone. And then we sort of get this distorted view of how we look. And then there's another thing. Um, I don't know if you do this, Leah, but you know, I like, um, I've been interested in clothes since I did that styling with Sophie, like before I dressed like a literal bag lady and didn't know what went mm. together. Leia's kind of always been stylish. She's like got that Parisian chic uh, from probably being there when she was five, but I just did not know how to dress. Like I grew up in Tennessee and if you had on like an XXL t-shirt and a pair of pajama pants and you went to Walmart and your flip flops, you were good. You're probably like the best looking one in the Walmart. So I, I really had to learn and, and, and teach myself like how, how to dress. And so Sophie gave me the tip to start looking onto Pinterest and like collecting mm. uh, ideas that fit to my body shape, to my style, to my colors. And so I mean, that's been 2018 since we had that style sort of consultation. And since then I took her advice and I love to do that. So I'll go mm. in there for the spring uh, season and I'll put together like a Pinterest mood board. You can go follow me there if you want to. You can just search my name, Shelia Stevens, and see what I'm like <laughs> collecting. Some of my friends do that. And what I, what I noticed is like I would then, I would collect these sort of beautiful clothing kind of examples that I loved and I would sort of get an inspiration for how I'd want to dress myself in this season and I didn't realize that there was so much uh let's see what's the word not filter not flaw but like distortion in it mm. and and the way that I saw it was my best friend Alyssa who's been on the podcast she she went and did her summer you know, capsule wardrobe on Pinterest. And she was like, yeah, I'm going for this vintage romantic sailor look. And she was like, here's the link, go look. And I clicked on the link and I saw, the first thing I saw was it's all like navy blue, white, red striped sailor look, right? That was the first thing. But then I realized that every single person who was wearing the clothes was stick thin, um, no curves, no breast, uh, very... Um, just very sort of, you know, model -y type tall and, and slim. And my, my friend is not that, right? Like, as I am not that, we are just kind of shorter, uh, curvy individuals. And then I thought, huh, well, is, is my board like that? Because I didn't even notice. Mm. And so I went over yes. to my board and I saw, whoa, these are younger um, stick thin people wearing these clothes. Now, does that matter for my inspiration? No, but I feel like mm -hmm. something in my brain started to see me mm -hmm. as belonging to that. Mm -hmm. Like it's my Pinterest board. I'm going to be wearing those similar things, right? I'm, I'm just as thin and slim and, you know, long haired and young as these, as these girls. And so I, I, I had a thought, I had a real think about that this week, Leah. And I thought it's not, it's not uh, unusual or strange that there's such a disconnect um, in and how we look and how we think we look in today's sort of the way we live in the world, like via digital mm. media, the way we look at ourselves through the mirror of Zoom mm. and other and other filters, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, nobody has to do anything with that information nope. because it's it's not it's not important, but it just. Um, it was interesting. It was just mm -hmm. interesting to notice. And and I had to think about, you know, the kids, the teenagers who are um, online, you know, even more and, and, and seeing themselves through, through the eyes and the mirrors of the technology and all the things. And I sort of got a feeling for the first time about where, you know, some of that insecurity is maybe coming from and how, how they're, how they're feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And yeah, and I think in every area, it's just so good to know that we don't have to take our insecurities that serious. Yeah. And, and, and to be in the world and to realize how, what, what's happening and to interact with the things and to be aware. Probably it's always, always 
when we see something, we, we the awareness shifts in a way. Yeah. And yeah, to we there is no right or wrong. We can everything both end, but um. To see also the manipulation that mm. is happening, how we should look, how we should age, how we should, and to play with whatever we want to play. We yeah. too, we love makeup, we love clothes, We, but I already did when I was a little girl, but it also would be fine if I just started out because, and to be alive and, and our our biggest cheer and and seeing the beauty in the essence and in the in in the other in the heart in the love yeah. and not just in the appearance yeah yeah mm -hmm. so <laughs> thank you <laughs> Sorry, sorry, guys. Leah just looked a bit shocked because I have a meeting at eleven and someone's trying to come in the room where we're meeting. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, I so agree with that, Leah. And I I feel like, you know, too, I'm so glad for this understanding of the three principles, you know, yeah. just because it leads us also to a more vibrant and alive life, um, to a more healthy life, um, to a life where we take care of ourselves better and those around us, yes. uh, to more love, presence and well-being, which is what we're, we're trying yes. to nurture with this podcast. And all of those things lead to a more beautiful self inside and out. And yeah, so I want you to know, Leah, I think you're the most beautiful person. I love you so much. And to Aww. everyone listening, I, I think you're beautiful too. And I, yes. and I hope this conversation was just, if not anything fun <laughs> today, and um, maybe you did hear something for yourself. I hope so. And we'll mm. see you on the next episode of Time For You. Don't forget to follow us um, on Spotify or Apple Podcast and tell a friend. We we love it um, when this understanding, these conversations get spread with people you care about um, so that we can all come into yeah, even a more wonderful life. So yeah. see you Bye. soon. Bye.